So people felt like that my YCS Charlotte video was a bit sus and a bit misleading, even though I really wasn't trying to be misleading. This is some baby back bullshit misleading because you don't even know how it ends. <laughs> like, seriously, like, is this what we're doing now? Like, is this really what we're doing now? So uh, apparently a Yu-Gi-Oh player was caught cheating live. Dragon Link player, LCS, WCQ, regional, Yu-Gi-Oh shorts. I would love to buy some Yu-Gi-Oh shorts. If you have some Yu-Gi-Oh shorts, send them to me in the mail. I will wear them at the regional in Georgia. I will have Yami Yugi right on my ass crack near my hole. Not to quote Review Tech USA. But anyway, um, according to Asian Eyes here, uh, someone was apparently caught cheating live because, you know, we're always going to do it live. The damn video will play. So it's a 22-second video, right? You're going to watch this dude. He's going to shuffle. He's going to take a card, I guess, from the bottom of his deck and put it right on top uh, if the damn ad wouldn't play. But you just saw it right there. And, uh, like, okay, but, like, what's, what's the result of this, Asian Eyes? Like, why did you only make a 22 second video? Like, yeah, okay, it's got almost 4,000 views. That's cute. But, like, can we at least know how this ended? Like, is. <laughs> we can't just be left on a cliffhanger like this. Because the thing is, is that people are already pissed off enough about cheating. We don't need people just trying to get some easy views and some easy clout talking about cheating and not having a solution for it. Now, I know that people are going to say, well, Avery, isn't that what you're doing creating this video and you're just trying to get views, blah, 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 blah. Uh, not exactly, because here's the thing. I want to make videos about players cheating, whether it's in remote duels or even at like YCF Charlotte, because I want it to be brought to the forefront that, hey, this is an issue. This needs to be stopped. And I mean, you can see this guy in the video clear as day cheating. Like it's, it's not a surprise. Um, what pisses me off, however, is, oh, of course now, now it's, now it's not going to show right there. Okay. You just saw it again. And what bothers me, if this damn video would pause, what bothers me is like, okay, this happened. What what was the result? What's the rest of the story? Do we need to go and look up this Catiani guy to, to, to find out what happened? And please, if you know what the answer is, let me know in the comments below because this is an example of cheating. But Asian Eyes doesn't show us in the fucking video. Hey, did this guy get his deck cut? Because if not, then, well, you know, that's a big issue. Uh, and keep in mind, too, that with the new... Uh, rules and the new policies and the documents and stuff, um, unless Konami changed it. But when I looked at the newer policy changes, they didn't say anything about that change. You actually cannot touch your opponent's deck. So if you go to a regional YCS, what have you, you can't like physically touch the opponent's deck and cut their deck. They have to say, how do you want the deck cut? And you can say, cut it in half. And then they cut it in half and, you know, whatever. But of course, if you're not satisfied with it, they don't cut it exactly how you want to cut then you're going to have some baby back bullshit on your hands. And who knows, maybe they could even still stack you. Anyway, I just want to make this short video. And at the end of this video, I want to say too, uh, because someone had left a comment saying, look, you're, you're being misleading with your thumbnail and your title and everything like that. And you're not taking a side. Here's what I want you to keep in mind as a viewer of my channel. Number one, uh, before my VHL, which is like a type of cancer and things like that, got out of hand, I was working at a local news station here in Florida. Something that has been drilled into my head in school and also working in a news station is that if possible, you want to get a double confirmation before you report a story. Now, the confirmation that I had was I watched the match between Jerome and Elijah, and admittedly, I didn't notice some of the things that happened. Um, however, I then saw other people posting about it, multiple people making multiple posts about the alleged cheating slash illegal plays that happened in the finals of the YCS. And that was my confirmation to say, okay, this is what is allegedly happening. Let's make a video about it and say that it is alleged. Because here's the thing. I'm glad that I said alleged because some people in my comment section said, well, this isn't cheating. It was more in illegal play. And so had I just gone out of my way, and said, this person cheated, and they're a bad player, they're a terrible person, Konami, you need to ban them, that would look terrible on me, because then people could say to me, well, Avery, it was actually an illegal play, he's not cheating, you're putting out false information. In a similar way, it would be like a defamation of character thing. You know, if I said, so-and-so physically harmed his girlfriend, 
and I don't have any proof for that, then someone can make the argument of, hey, that's defamation of character. The last thing I want to get blamed for in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community or even just in life in general is being someone that has a defamation of character issue with other people. I want to make sure I have the facts. Whether someone is alleged cheating or not, until they're caught in 4K, like in this instance, although I'd like to know what the fuck happened to this person, not just left on a cliffhanger from a fucking 22-second video that doesn't tell me jack shit. Thanks a lot, Agent Eyes. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going there with this. <laughs> um, you know, I want to have the information. I want to have everything in front of me before I decide to do something. The only reason why I did so quickly with the finals of the YCS 10 minutes after it happened was because the evidence was clear as day there. Now, people would say, well, Avery, you were talking about possibly cheating, possibly illegal plays. You weren't sure. Why did your thumbnail say cheating you guilt player caught? And I'm going to be honest. It's simply because of the fact that that's the best thumbnail I could find on YouTube. I didn't make that thumbnail. I just typed in cheating Yu-Gi-Oh! player thumbnail, and that's what came up. People know Bandit Keith from the anime is a cheater and a liar. It's got big letters. It's got colors. It's going to stand out. Now, in contrast, would the video have gotten almost 4,000 views if I made the thumbnail a question mark and the title was Yu-Gi-Oh! players in the finals of YCS Charlotte may have been cheating, but possibly illegal plays. I don't know. You decide. That probably wouldn't even fit as a title on YouTube. That's going to get, what, 30 views, 10 views? What do I put in for the tags for that? And it's, again, not that I'm trying to purposely be misleading. It's the fact of, number one, I want the information to get out there to as many people as possible. And once they listen to the whole video, then they can decide for themselves what it was happened when they are presented with said information that I made sure to double check my shit and get. Now, there was some things that I missed that people left in the comments, like with Dasher not coming back at the right time and things like that and, you know, all that other stuff, whatever. Um, but the main things is what I wanted to harp on that were fresh in people's minds, such as the DP not going to the grave and things like that. It is never my intention to mislead you, the viewer, or to lie to you. However, what pisses me off in this scenario is that it's a 22-second fucking video from fucking Asian Eyes, who's been on YouTube since 2005 or some shit, and then he, we don't even know what the end result is. We... We don't know, George. I looked at your channel, bro. Like, I'm not seeing nothing. Like, the fuck? Like, we don't know if this dude could have just cut this man's deck. And we're fine. Like, we're totally fine. So, if, if you're pissed off at me, all I ask is that, one, you look at other YouTubers much bigger than myself. Are they doing the same thing? I would make the argument that they are. And I think that this video, especially this hashtag shorts, I would love a pair of Yu-Gi-Oh shorts, A's and I's. Why don't you buy those for me, pimp? And uh, you tell me who is misleading you. Okay, he got caught cheating. What was the end result? Well, I don't know. I just want a 22-second video. Not saying that that's what Asian Eyes intended, but, bro, it sure looks like when you don't have the whole thing of what happened. Like, honestly, like, and cheating in general is just fucked up. But, like, let's provide a solution. Let's, let's know what happened. Did Konami ban his ass, or do we have to go to Konami and say, hey, you need to ban this guy? Like, what the fuck? Like, what if I made a 22-second video talking about the, the finals of the YCS? Then people would be really pissed. Anyway, this just really rubbed me the wrong way. I, I just saw this 22-second fucking video, and it just really pissed me off. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you all so much for the support, and uh, hopefully I won't need to talk about YCS Charlotte anymore. I'll see you guys in the next video.